especially vintage Chanel. We have vintage uh, Celine, and we also have lots of vintage Hermes as well. So um, if you're a fan of vintage, then this is the show for you. And I'm actually wearing head to toe vintage. I'm actually wearing this uh, Chanel suit, which I'm going to be featuring in tonight's show with all the accessories that come with it as well. Now, to shop the live show, all you need to do is watch the show and as I uh, present the, uh, um, the item, I'll be talking about the conditions and the stories and the historical facts about the pieces. And I'll be honest about and transparent about the condition. Uh, the uh, picture will appear, the picture icon will appear on your top left hand screen. As soon as that appears, you can actually tap on that and add to cart straight away. We take all major forms of credit debit cards, as well as PayPal and Split It. So Split It is a, a major, uh, can only be used with a major credit card. And um, Split It is a way to check out and it's a re really great way of spreading the cost of your luxury purchases interest free over 12 months. The only caveat is it's only available on credit cards. So you need to have a credit card. Also, we ship worldwide, £10 to UK and £35 for the rest of the world. Thank you very much. And we've got the lovely Rachel. Say hi, Rachel. Hi. Who's moderate, moderating in tonight's show. Now guys, Another special treat in tonight's show, mm -hmm. if you spend over £500 on tonight's show, on the items I'm featuring in tonight's show, you get £50 off. So any purchases, £500 and above, you get £50 off and there's going to be a special coupon code. So we'll just quickly pin that. It's called Vintage 50. So just put Vintage 50 at checkout and you'll get 50 pounds off your code. Now, if you forget to use your code, don't worry, we'll manually process it afterwards, so not to worry. So let me just quickly give you a walk through, a win through. Oh, and one other thing, customs and duties are also covered during the live show as well. So, uh, as well as the 50 pounds off. So fantastic way to shop and lots of fun in the next two hours. Let me quickly give you a little walk through. We have lots of vintage Chanel bags, lots of vintage bags. Uh, we have some early pieces, some of these bags are from 1986. And we also have the Gucci, we also have this beautiful uh, backpack Kelly Aldo bag, as well as some Celine um, vintage bags as well. And we have some fun LV, as well as the usual accessories. And we also have these incredible selections of uh, vintage, uh, vintage jackets. We've got a Chanel here. We've got this beautiful cashmere one by Celine. We have a Claude Montana one, and we have this amazing um, Moschino one as well. So they're all like, the things I've picked in tonight's show are great for this upcoming fall. So if there's anything you want to see, or to put in a request now, and I'll make sure they're lined up for you to purchase, and to view as well, and for me to talk about. Let me get started. Maybe I'll just start with what I'm wearing. Yes. Ready to wear, I thought so, Sandy. So I'll start with the suit, actually. Um, I can't believe, I'm so happy this suit actually fits me. I know, God, you I, know. You I, I, I really do want to buy it, but you know what, I've got to offer it to you guys first. It's just a company policy. If it's still available, it's meant to be, it's fate, and it should be for me. However, this is beautiful. Like, a lot of the time, the vintage Chanel suits are usually a 38, EU 38, 36. This is actually, I think, equivalent to an EU46. Uh, I'm a UK12 and it fits me perfectly. <laughs> it's a two-piece suit, guys. It has never been altered. It's in this beautiful corally, uh, corally pink colorway. It is double-breasted with these amazing CC Chanel buttons. There's one, two, four, six, eight. There's even buttons all along here. Look at that. They could be... As a pair of earrings, they're worth around about £500 a pair or more. So all the buttons are intact and it has pockets as well. These pockets here and the pocket here as well. And guys, the skirt fits me as well. Can you believe it? I thought I would have to like yank myself in, but it fits me very comfortably. And um, let me just show you in the mirror what it looks like on me. So if you're a UK 12, and you're after a two-piece suit. So UK 12 is equivalent to a US 
8, 8, 10. Look how wonderful. Look, I just want to show you. Look, even there are buttons. Can you see? There are Chanel buttons. All It's a little box plate. So if you wanted a bit more ease, you can unbutton them so you have a bit more stretch when walking. It is in pristine condition, fully lined. It has the gold chain that we all love. And it is just absolutely stunning. Double breasted pockets. I would say I am usually, I would say this is a good 18 inch bust. So, which is a 36 and there's plenty of room in there. Uh, shoulders are equivalent to around about 18 inches and it has slightly three quarter length sleeves. So, which is ideal for showing off your jewelry. And of course, Chanel watches, which I, ha I can feature next. I've got another watch um, lining up as well. So amazing condition. And I just think it is just a really, really sheet back, sheet um, coat and jacket, two piece. Let me just unbutton it so you can wear it loose. I've got a little t-shirt underneath so you can wear it loose as well. So, you know, you could even wear, dress this up with a, um, wear it with jeans at the weekend with a t-shirt or with a, um, can you imagine? With a little cashmere polo neck. I mean, this, in terms of style investment and cost per wear, it is very good value for money. I'm um, just trying to think what that's other kinds of wear. There's no wear to the underarm. It's oh fully God. lined. <laughs> I know, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it, so, no, but... Um, Oh, it, if I had a wedding or something to go to, this is, this is, uh, or, you know, if I'm, if I'm the first lady of vintage, yeah. when I do my conference calls, can imagine me on the podium. <coughs> so, uh, right. I've, I've been so busy admiring myself. I haven't even looked at my, any comments. Thank you now for my haircut. Ah, okay. Let's pin the price of the suit. And then we'll do the necklace next. So the whole suit, the two-piece um, salmon suit with the mat comes with the boucle jacket. It's double-breasted. As well as the matching skirt, it is only 1895 which is 2144 US dollars. If it's a UK4, okay, I think it'll be too big for you. Hannah B, it'll be too big. I'm a UK12. I am a UK 12, so I think it'll be too big for you. So this is good for, um, yeah, Ruru. I'm a 12, so a Ruru, I've met you before. It'll be too, it'll swamp you. It'll be too big for you. So anyone who's um, a UK 12 or a US 8, this will be perfect for you. Bust-wise, if you're worried about your bust, I would say it's equivalent to a 36-inch bust. So 18 inches across, 36 across. So, yes, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I just think this is such a wonderful suit. Now, let's do the necklace. I know lots of comments about my necklace, so let me just do a little close. So this necklace, I believe, is it 2016 collection? Uh, we'll just look it up. So again, it is a modern piece. It's a much later piece. Yeah, it's from 2016, and it has a champagne gold hardware. It's a double strand um, faux pearl glass necklace. Um, in excellent condition. The lady who previously owned this um, wore it only a handful of times and it's been in storage ever since. There is no enamel peeling or enamel scratches or wear. So um, you can see there's no tarnish or any hardware, uh, hardware, tarn uh, hardware wear to it. And it is really ideally worn as a double length. You can't really wear it doubled up. It's designed to be worn as a double piece and uh, with the CC logo. I would say it's a good sort of nine out of 10 condition. It's excellent. And guys, don't forget, there is a coupon code tonight, Vintage50. So any orders over £500, you'll get, uh, apply the code Vintage50 for £50 off. So let's uh, show the uh, price of the uh, necklace, please. The necklace is only £995, which is US dollars So don't forget, use your code uh, VINTAGE50 for £50 off, which is only applicable on orders over 50, uh, £500. So continue to shop my outfit. We also have 
these beautiful vintage clip-on earrings. Everyone needs a good pair of standards, but vintage, gorgeous. Almost like this engraved CC logo design. You see, with a 24 karat gold gilding, um, it's a light, it actually feels very comfortable on. Don't be worried about uh, clip on earrings being um, too, um, too sort of hard on your uh, earlobes. It's actually very, very comfortable on. Um, it is equivalent to probably around about just under half an inch uh, wide. And it is dated. Uh, let me just quickly put it back on the docket. One second. It is uh, from the uh, 94A collection. 94A uh, collection has that beautiful Rolo um, and uh, engraved with a with a sort of like a, a con con. What's that? Is it concave or convex? The other way. Which really sticky it's, out. See, it's sticky out. Convex. Convex with a convex dome like design. Very strong and secure clip-on, signed Chanel, 94 Autumn Collection. And um, in excellent condition with no sign of loss of wear or tarnish. Hello, I know, just good classic pair of Chanel earrings. Mm -hmm. And the price of these, it only comes with the, um, these earrings are 550 pounds, which is 622 US dollars. Uh, if you want to shop this, all you need to do is just add to cart there. It's just popped up already. That's, I'm wearing the whole outfit. And they'd only be £500. Yeah, they'll only be £500 if you apply the coupon code VINTAGE50. They will only be £500 for you. So, again, so in tonight's show, uh, we are giving a £50 discount voucher. If you spend over £500 or more, you get to apply the code VINTAGE50 and get £50 off your order. So that is the earring just there. Now, also to complete, I have the bangle. So this is a really lovely bangle, very, very um, fun design, gold plated. Uh, any brooches? No, I don't have any brooches. We actually um, have uh, no brooches in this uh, collection. So um, I think we sold. Yeah, I think we sold quite a few of them. But don't worry, we'll be restocking. So don't worry. Um, this is a 24 karat gold plated bangle with the cutout Chanel logo. Again, lovely condition. There is no chipping or no t loss of tarnish or wear. Um, these these style of bangles don't normally come signed. Um, these are circa 1980s. Um, these are usually uh, do not have a little date stamp. They don't really come with a date stamp. So these are just a standard cutout Chanel bangle. Has a lovely weight to it. It's base metal, gilded in 24 karat gold gilding. And this is a fantastic price actually. So when Rachel's ready, she's gonna put on the price. And then in terms of sizing, this is roughly, uh, this is roughly seven and a half centimeters, which is roughly around about three inches wide. So if you have the standard um, a wrist size of three inches, and this, can I see the, yes, of course, against the black top. There it is. So the bangle's only 495 pounds, which is 560 US dollars. And if you want to shop this, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon just there. So Paulie, you wanted to see the um, uh, necklace. So let me just do this. So this is what it looks like on me. I know it's a fantastic price. Yes, and uh, these style of necklaces are designed to be worn as a double length. You can't really, maybe you could double it up, but it's designed to have this asymmetrical drape to it. So Paulie, you can see, let me just quickly show you. The condition is excellent. It features a lobster class. It is signed 2016 coll uh, collection. It's just lasered onto the lobster class just there with a, f a CC little logo finish. And all the pearls are in excellent condition. There is no loss of shine or any um, peeling. Lovely, lovely condition. And it has a thread of black that gives a little contrast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So actually, when it comes to threading pearls, um, 
the cheaper ones are done with nylon thread correctly like if you're going to string pearls you should do do it with cotton because it holds it and this is actually cotton here so you th and this would have been hand done so you thread one tie a knot thread the other one tie a knot so very much like the best pearls are Mikimoto pearls, the Japanese pearls, and that's how they finish their um, pearls as well. So very, even though this is costume jewellery, it's still um, finished and constructed like fine jewellery. So these are absolutely beautiful. And I think it should be, I know pearls are not for everybody, um, but I think in terms of style investment, it may not always be in fashion, but in terms of style investment, you can't go wrong with a pearl, especially Chanel pearls. Um, these are always included in every collection, every season, every collection, in sort of different variances, um, and they will go up every season. So to get a, to a double strand faux pearl necklace now under a thousand pounds pre-love is a fantastic price because I know if you were to buy something equivalent retail, you're looking at double the price. So yeah. What are the earrings that are pinned? That Oh yes, yeah, so these are the earrings that I'm wearing. And these are, I think, is it 500 or 550? 550, but 500 with you. Yeah. So, Becca, these are a five, they're currently 550 pounds. They are a con, convex dome like CC engraved uh, design with a click upon backing. They're from 94 Autumn Collection. They're 550 pounds. However, guys, there is a coupon code. Use the code VINTAGE50 on tonight's show and get 50 pounds off your order on anything over 500 pounds and more and they are absolutely very comfortable on as well so shall i carry on with more ready to wear or shall i do some bags now maybe uh what was it people say maybe we'll just do some more ah oh, let's do the watch i know somebody was asking about the watch we do have another premiere watch yes and i'll do the the bag with the studs on uh, brenda um so we have another watch this is actually our watch suddenly chanel watches big demand i'm not surprised because they have been relaunched this season um so this is the vintage uh, 1987 premiere watch in lovely condition this is size medium a size medium and um it features the interwoven uh, leather design with a little clasp just here and this is size medium let me just double check yeah it's a medium so how you can check the sizing is that's usually engraved on the little t-bar so it says m here um it is a quartz movement watch which means it needs a battery so anything quartz movement needs a, just a standard battery and most of the jewelers or any uh, watch dealers will be able to fix that for you and um and of course swiss made so switzerland have the best best watches so it's a swiss made watch uh, this has at least this has been serviced and it has we will guarantee at least three months battery life so if your uh, watch stops working we'll you know we'll sort it out for you it shouldn't be a problem but they should be serviced and we made sure that the battery is working now you know, I'm sure if, uh, if you've never known a story about it, but maybe I'll recap it. So this is actually uh, first launched in 1987 and it was called the Premier Watch because uh, uh, Chanel the House was the very first fashion brand to launch its own designer watches. Up until then, I don't think any other fashion brands actually launched their own watches. And the design, the face is actually um, almost like a Baccarat class. And it's inspired by a 1920s um, style, very art deco. And it's actually a cup was inspired by the, um, you know, the Chanel number no. five, the little glass topper, uh, which the glass bottle is actually, oh, I actually do have a, a Chanel number no. five bottle. Would you mind grabbing it in from the loo? Thank you. Where is it? It's, you'll see it when you go in the bar. In uh, the the yeah, in the bathroom, yeah. Um, it's just Chanel, um, yeah, nine, uh, so Chanel number no. five perfume bottle was actually based on a whiskey or brandy decanter from the 1920s. And actually, Chanel number no. five has had its 100 year uh, anniversary last year. So the um, sort of square face design actually is very similar to the little Chanel bottle top uh, you see on Chanel number no. five. In itself, this, 
the bottle top was actually inspired by Path, um, Place de Parthenon, which is a famous square, luxury square in Paris. And why it's famous? Because it is the, the square surrounded by all the luxury fine jewellers and watches. So um, Rolex, Cartier, Petit Philippe are there, as well as Van Cleef and, you know, all the fashion, as well as Chanel fine jewellery. So can you see, this is, we have an empty Chanel number no. five bottle. And this is the, can you see the semblance, resemblance of the two, of where the inspiration came from. So you can see how, um, the, you know, that square inspire the watch face of this design. So, um, th now, uh, Chanel have relaunched this, and this is our currently, if you wanted to buy this, this is 4,000, just about, about 4,800 pounds. I know, and you know what? The modern ones are only 18 karat gold gilding. This is 24 karat gold gilding. Yeah, and there's a real difference. You can see that beautiful yellow gold. In terms of sizing, this is a size M and would fit a size um, 17 centimeter watch wrist size. So the face is black, not blue. It's always black, black and gold. So I'm just gonna quickly put this on. So uh, I, I, I wear a, a large, this is my one large here. So this is the medium. And I would say actually medium is a better fit on me. You always say that, when are you gonna swap it out? No, I'm never gonna swap <laughs> it out. <laughs> So this, I am, uh, this is 17 centimetre watch, or 16 centimetre watch wrist size, which is roughly just under three inches wide. So it fits me just fine. And I'm a standard, I think I'm a standard watch wrist. So the price is going to be fantastic. Remember, they retail at £4,800. Our price is only £1,495, which is $1,691 US dollars. All you need to do is shop just there. It's just been pinned. Quickly add it to cart because like everyone say, it will probably be sell, sold by the end of the show. Remember to use your code VINTAGE50 uh, to get your £50 off. Any orders over £500 or more, you'll get £50 off. So it is just there. Now, we also accept um, all major forms of credit and debit cards. We also offer, um, we accept PayPal as well as split it. So if you want to spread those luxury payments oh, interest-free over 12 months, for example, this watch will be less than £100 a month. Um, probably like 50 or six, no, probably about, about £70 a month. Um, so... Um, it's a fantastic way to, uh, you know, ma uh, financially manage your expenditure, which is amazing. Uh, Ruru, I just bought one. Yes, I saw Ruru. That, you got a good one. That was a really good one. It's a good condition oh, one. she had a small one? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I, no, I think Ruru got medium. I'm not oh. too sure. Yeah, I think she got medium. Yes, the, Sophia, the price is fantastic. <laughs> so, yes, um, you can shop it there. So, people are asking about... The Chanel classic bags. Okay, let's do that. So, I think somebody was interested in this little studded number, which I absolutely love. This is a lambskin vintage Chanel uh, bag in an envelope size, which is roughly around about just under eight inches uh, wide. It's a single flat bag uh, with a long crossbody style chain. So you can wear this uh, crossbody or you can wear it over the shoulder as well. What's nice about this bag is it features these tiny little CC uh, gold tone buttons. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. Is, aren't they just fun? What a lovely fun, very rock and roll, um, I think. Um, the lambskin is excellent. It's beautiful, you can see, like there's no words really to describe it. It is shiny it has that hasn't lost that puffiness it, it there's no wear there's no scratches it's got that beautiful even design um has very minimal wear along the corners of the bag and if you open up the bag it's a magnetic closure oh sorry it's a, a push lock closure and inside the interior is also pristine nice and clean has that lovely cc logo inside as well 
and this bag comes with a serial sticker only. It is a zero series. So this bag is from 1986. 1986 to 88, uh, Brenda. 1986 to 88. So is that your birth year? What's your birth year? Is that your birth year? 84. 84. Oh, you're more vintage, Rachel. <laughs> so it is 1986 to 88. Brenda, is that your birth year? Do let us know. And I know the leather is absolutely glowing. It is just wonderful condition. And for some, I think, I mean, it feels like I, I've, I've dealt with Chanel bags for a long, long time. I've been starting, um, you know, a specialist in this um, type of bag since 2007, 2006. And I really do believe that the 80s and 90s leather, especially these bags, seem to improve and um, soften and just garner more vintageness uh, with age and wear and I just think they're absolutely gorgeous so um, lovely lovely bag uh, the gold gilding uh, of course on all these bags uh, especially from this period are gilded in 24 karat gold so you can see there's no loss of shine all that interwoven design is absolutely gorgeous and um and just perfect now as an envelope style bag you could definitely fit your iphone your wallet your keys makeup whatever and it is perfect so yeah you can yes a great idea yes sir. yeah you could double it up let me just quickly do that as well so if i loop it that side so i've just double looped it underneath the strap and you can see that actually has a nice design over it it's the perfect little pochette style bag as well so in terms of condition happy to give this a good eight out of ten so the price please rachel it is only two thousand five hundred pounds which is two thousand eight hundred twenty eight us dollars if you want to shop this the picture is now up and remember to use your coupon code vintage 50 for 50 pounds off this purchase so it's up for grabs just there uh, I think somebody else wanted to see a trapezoid bag, so let me just do that next. This is absolutely... Yes, sir, that's the one that is eight or nine inches. That's the big one. Uh, the small one, okay. It is roughly eight inches. Yes, sir, eight inches. So, I hope that helps. Any questions? Uh, if you've just joined, my name is Winnie. This is the Vintage Treasures Show. If you're a fan of vintage or you need one of a kind pieces, then do stay on. We have some incredible cut pieces coming up. We have lots of vintage Chanel, lots of jewelry. We have incredible uh, ready to wear, lovely fitted jackets, perfect for fall. And, um, and we do ship worldwide, 10 pounds UK and uh, 35 pounds for the rest of the world. And if you've never, you don't know what's going on how do we shop well it's very easy you watch on your screen and as soon as these picture icons appear it they're actually interactive you, interactive you don't need to say sold uh, all you need to do is tap on those icons just there and it'll take you to cart you can add to cart straight away and in tonight's show we uh, are offering 50 pounds off of any orders over 500 pounds with the code vintage 50 and all your customs and duties are covered during the live show so if you're shopping from outside the uk there's no extra customs and duties uh, to to add it will be included in the price and for those on instagram if you want to participate and you want to watch the live show you need to head over to luxurypromise.com which is pinned in the comments page just there so, uh, love the lipstick. Oh, thank you. I don't know. I think that is MAC I'm wearing. I can't quite remember. Uh, right, ready to wear. Okay, let's do some ready to wear. I, I agree. Let's do some. I want to feature this, uh, first of all. This is incredible. This is a jacket by Claude Montana. Uh, uh, Montana was uh, probably really really big in the 80s actually um if you think terry moogler and if you think Ad, um as a dean uh, a liar they were his contemporaries at the time and they kind of were they made it big at the same period of time let me just take this off so you'll see now claude montana was a paris born in paris but his father was catalan and his mother was german and he um had a, a 
real talent for tailoring, really known for his tailoring. And he first had his own fashion show in 1976, but it's really the 80s that really made him big. Why was he so important? Well, because he, he was really inspired by the 40s and 50s. So a lot of his silhouettes are very much angular. Think Greta Garbo, Rita Hayworth, all those screen sirens of the Hollywood of the you know of that period was very very that was his um, DNA design DNA. If it wasn't for Claude Montana, he, there wouldn't be um, John Galliano was inspired by his work. Uh, Rifa Osbeck, who I don't know if they're still going around, but he was a very huge influential designer was influenced by um, Claude Montana and um, who else? Oh, Alexander McQueen. Um, so these, you know, they all look back to Claude Montana. Now, he is known to have precision tailoring. I'm a UK 12. This is a beautiful, almost like, uh, what kind of green? Like, um, what could you describe this green? Emerald green? Emerald green? Yeah. Think, yeah. Emerald. And it has this um, little uh, toggle here, which you can... Um, uh, I'm being attacked by a fly. <laughs> You're all right. Ah, look. And you need to put the collar up. Look how chic this. Have you seen the shape at the back as well? It's so like boxy. Yeah. Look, it's giving me a waist. Guys, so this is like... worth every penny. It's giving me... Let me go to the screen, uh, to the mirror. Beautiful. You really see this one. Yeah. I mean, the car look amazing, but you have green as well. Look. It's given me a waist definition. The way it is cut, all these panels are really, really flattering. And I'm a UK 12, guys. And so, you know, and look, has a little button toggle just here. These jet pockets. Very, very, I think it's a, such a flattering shape. I would wear it with a collar up so I could look quite um, Grabo-ish, quite Hollywood. What do you guys think? The cut is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Condition is excellent. The um, it, it's circa eighties, I would say. Yeah. Just love this. Imagine, and I'm just wearing it with a like a little pencil skirt. But imagine with leather trousers or with oh. denim jeans or like black jeans with a pair of boots. How chic would you? Oh, there's lots of hearts going. I think lots of people like this jacket. And the price is fantastic for such a tailored piece. Really unique. Look, I, love, I, I, I just love the collar like this. It just looks so good. Right, so what's the price, Rachel? It is... Uh, it is only 200 and 45 pounds, which is 277 US dollars. BT Terry NYC, yes, Rifat Osbeck. Is he still around? He was very, very influential. Came from, uh, studied at St. Martin's and uh, Central St. Martin's and um, was uh, had a very Navajo inspired, also known for uh, tailoring as well. And it's uh, some pieces that you don't come across now in a pre love market. And I think they'll be very, very collectible. So, I'm yes. I'm also sitting watching like this one. <laughs> so, yes, it is 100% wool. 100% wool. And I've got the collar up. I it think... has gone. Has it sold? It's gone. Oh, amazing. Oh, my gosh. I'm actually quite sad because this is really be beautiful. Oh, really? Amazing. Fantastic. Congratulations. So, um... You just can't get this type of tailoring now, can you? Everything is mass produced. Even the lining says Montana. Montana. Just fully, it's absolutely gorgeous. So congratulations. Let me do the next jacket. We have, this is a beautiful piece. This is, guys, Celine mm. Cashmere. Oh, oh goodness. This cashmere is gorgeous. It's like stroking the bottom of the baby's feet. Do you ever see? Oh, yeah. I love the stroking bottom. They're just so, so soft. <laughs> you probably think I'm weird, but oh, I just, yeah, when my, my son was a baby, I used to stroke his little bottoms of his feet because it was so soft. Now, this is a single-breasted cashmere jacket. Wonderful condition. Oh, 
and it's beautiful almost like khaki green color as well let me just it's so nice right are you tempted rachel <laughs> oh even rachel's tempted let me just show you in the mirror look single breasted look the cashmere is incredible there's no moth damage nothing this is a 19 sort of 1970s 1980s vintage um these vintage jackets i'm featuring tonight's show are actually pieces that me and elena sourced in italy and there's one thing about italian fashion is cut is amazing number two italians really look after their pieces it would be embarrassing for them to take in or sell a worn out piece of jacket or button missing or hole in the sleeve that is that that is just no, no, no. So when it comes to pre-love vintage, Italians really, they do do it better, I think. So this is fantastic condition, 100% cashmere. Uh, I want to show you these buttons. Let me just show you if I can. These are gold gilded buttons. They actually say Celine on them. You can see the little globe. And again, these will be 24 karat gold gilded buttons as well so really really beautiful jacket i am a uk 12 and it fits me just fine i am wearing a thin t-shirt i think if i wore like a bulky sweater it might be a bit too uh tight across the chest for me I don't want to try you want to try it? oh come on rachel let's try it rachel's a uk 10 you're a 10 aren't you yeah yeah it's gonna look like i'm wearing an army suit though oh my gosh <laughs> I'm wearing a suit. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And how does it feel? Oh, so, oh, no. it's so <laughs> soft, isn't yeah, it? Like, mm. So, so soft. And uh, can you button it up? I can just about button it just. up. Yeah. But really, with this type of jacket, you would wear it loose, wouldn't you? Yeah, totally. Yeah. And how do you like it with my, my Yeah, I hand. like this matching suit. suit. <laughs> it's actually the same colour as your joggers. It's exactly the same colour. <laughs> I would actually wear these together. Yeah, I would. I like, I like a co-ward. Yeah. Even though not exactly co-wards, but I think it's a good co-ward. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Yes. I'll give you a pack. <laughs> so let me just quickly show you. It has lost its label. It doesn't say Celine inside. However, the buttons um, prove its provenance. They are vintage Celine. The UK 10 and USB. Yes. Six. Six. So um, we put a UK 10 stroke us six um i'm a 12 and it is probably a bit too tight for me just to, like probably buckling up under my uh, chest here so i'd say a uk 10 should fit fine yes as well. she's trying to buy it but the cord's not working Maybe it has to be yeah, yeah, uh, oh, yeah there is a minimum spend of 500 pounds uh that's why the code will only work if you spend 500 pounds or more <laughs> so really so we'll show the price of this jacket because I think it'll team well with one of the Celine um, bags that I've got in tonight's show. So this jacket is £400, 100% uh, cashmere, vintage Celine uh, in a mossy green, khaki green, uh, £400, which is $452 US dollars, suitable for a UK 10 up to a US um, UK 10 or a US 6. I believe. Yep, it's yeah. sold. This is sold? Yep. Ah, oh, amazing! Congratulations! It's amazing. It is. It's a bit clean and a jacket. It's cash it's cashmere. Cashmere. Jacket. We saw one in Gucci, very similar, but in camel, it was 2K. Yeah. Current season 2K. And it was slightly bit boxy. So only £400 of cashmere. Congratulations. Let us know who bought it. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, amazing. Maybe I'll do more jackets. You guys do love the uh, uh, ready to wear. This is a really fun uh, jacket. This is a uh, Moschino. And this is from the iconic Ch Cheap and Chic Moschino, a 1980s. And this has a very much a military design um, to it, very military inspired jacket. I absolutely love this. Again, love this sort of double breasted number. Very military. Ooh, you can so wear it. Yeah. So this can be worn, of course, let me just take the tag out, can be worn two ways. So you can uh, you can button the lapel right underneath and it can be double breasted. 
So almost like a military style pea coat mm -hmm. jacket. Let me just do this. And, and they have these little buttons as well. What do you guys think? It's so cute, right? It's navy virgin wool with a, a black um, cotton velvet lapel. And it's such a fun style. Let me take it to the mirror so you see for um, size and scale. Again, I am a UK 12. It's probably slightly too, I wouldn't probably wear it too buttoned up like this. But if you are UK 10, I think this would be comfortable on you. And, and it's not, yeah, exactly. It's a nice length because it covers this, oh, sorry, the bottom. So I would actually personally wear this uh, as um, opened up. I preferred my jackets opened up. Let me just quickly do this with one hand. Oh, Rachel, they said, can you try it? Yeah, let's do that next. So I prefer it loose like this. So the lapel just drapes elegantly. It has these little fun... Um, buttons Oops. the gold gilded buttons with this little cross detail and it's fully lined and with these really cool uh, so it's almost like a pea jacket on me so let me just get Rachel to because she's a bit smaller than me she is a UK 10 Oops. Yeah, it's okay. It's good. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's on you. Thanks. Ooh. Oh, this is so fun. Isn't it fun? Yeah. It's like a pirate call. Yeah. It's, it's very military tree. inspired. Oh, this is cool. It is so cool, right? And it's a great winter autumn jacket. So, especially right now where it's not so warm enough just to wear like a t-shirt, but not so cold enough to wear a thick, heavy jacket. No. It's a good alternative. And imagine this with a polo neck, like a cashmere polo neck. How chic would that look? I wear this with leather trousers. Le yeah. yeah. Leather black or leggings or something, or something a bit more fitted. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Would you mind just buttoning it up so people can I'm see? Not sure, it buttons up on me. Should do. If it buttons up on me, it should button up on you. Maybe because you're more petite than me. So yeah. So this is what it looks like on Rachel buttoned up, and I love oh, this cool. detail at the back, which make, nips in the waist. So very very. It does make you look very small. So, yeah, very very um, slim fitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, looking forward. Oh yes. I know, this is a great, yes, yeah, a great, oh. uh, oh, something else is sold. Possibly this. Oh, have you pinned it already? No, but it'll be in the handbag. Oh. Uh, so I have to check? Yes, please. So we'll just check if this is sold. Uh, Condition-wise, I would give it a good sort of eight, uh, eight out of ten. All the buttons are intact. It's sold. It's sold. Oh, amazing. amazing. Congratulations. That is great. Oh, I'm so pleased. Um, we were taking on a chance with these full jackets. We wanted to get sort of slightly bigger sizes. Uh, we, you know, so I'm so pleased. Let us know if you want us to find more jackets like this. We will be happy to do so. I know it seems like, Rachel, everything you touch sells. I should be moderating. She should be up the front now. <laughs> oh so I can sit everything down for two hours. <laughs> Um, I don't have any Celine jewellery, I'm afraid, um, in tonight's shop, but I do have um, some Celine bags up for grab. So let me just quickly do my last ready to wear. Again, uh, a lovely, beautiful piece in this mustard yellow oh, colourway. Gorgeous. And this perfect. is from the 95 um, Autumn Collection. And this is a size 44. So um, it features these beautiful sort of CC... Um, resin style buttons in this gorgeous sort of mustard yellow boot clay and look how it's all tapered in 
lovely condition again let me just put this look at the lining that lining is like gold isn't it liquid gold there's all the cc logos and it has that gold chain uh which you um with the chain is actually designed to hold down the weight of the jacket so it always hangs beautifully uh draped along the body and it's only actually you only ever see in chanel jackets so this is what it's like on me. I'm a UK 12. I can't, you can actually open the butt up. This is still stitched in. So the purse, So um, you can, these are fully functioning um, jack, uh, pockets, but I won't unstitch it, unpick it. Also, uh, if you don't have to, you shouldn't open them because it keeps the line of the jacket. Yes. Although sometimes having high, handy, it's quite handy having oh, pockets. I know. I yeah, know. yeah. Everyone likes a pocket. Exactly, but, um, yeah. So this is a single uh, breasted jacket. Let me just button it up. I'm a UK 12 again, and this fits me um, like a glove. I absolutely love, um, oops. Okay, that's a good idea to have a shipping plan. So this is what it's like on me. Very, very fitted. I think it's a very flattering shape. I love this mustard yellow colour. All the buttons are intact. You can see no, no buttons are missing. I would say the yellow is like an ochre yellow. Uh, it's not like a sunflower yellow. yellow. It probably has like an orange undertone uh, through it. And um, if I would, uh, and you can actually put this, you put your hands in the pocket as well. Um, there are no sort of major signs of wear. Um, you can see it's all fully lined. That lining is gorgeous. And I will actually wear this opened up like this. And I think every girl needs a jacket investment. It's one of those, a good blazer is a good style investment because it will go with everything. This is good enough to go for a job interview. This is good enough to go on a date. It is good enough to go to a, a, a fancy function. Lots of wear, cost per wear. It will do the math, so don't worry. Uh, this might fit you since Winnie is at size 11, 12. Yes, uh, how's the stretch on it? Uh, very roomy, actually. Very, very roomy. Um, I'm a, I don't know what bust size I am, but I would say this is, I'm probably about 36. Uh, so and it fits me fine with that if I, even when I button it up there's lots of ease in the arm so look plenty of room so it's not st over stretching the the chest area so in terms of condition I'll give this a good 8 out of 10 there's no, no moth damage no thread pulling there is no um there's no other signs of major wear all the buttons are intact and the button uh, and the lining is in excellent condition. So the price, please, Rachel. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sure. I'll show you. The jacket is £1,195. The buttons are, it's a size EU44, equivalent to a UK12 or a US8. These are the buttons just there. And they're all intact. The lining is to die for. All its labels are still there and lovely. So if you want to check out, use the code VINTAGE50. you get £50 off this order on tonight's show. Jen says, can you measure it pit to pit? Pit to pit, yes. Let me do that pit to pit for you, Jen. Let me just button it up so you can get the true sizing. So pit to pit, it is, it is 19 inches, so 38 inch bus, 19 inches. Uh, shoulder is also 18 inches and lengthwise it is 28 inches long. So it, the uh, jacket is 1,100, oh, I think it's gone, I think. Yep. It's sold! Congratulations. Congrats! Guys, this Chanel suit is still available. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, it's 
it's only fair. You guys, I can't believe, come on, this is, I'm going to show you this Chanel suit. Probably because everyone wants you again. <laughs> so let me just show you, I look like the first lady of vintage. I love this suit. And, yeah, oh, but yeah, the president of vintage, that's right. Would the lady president be called president? Yes. Yeah. It is, there's no like female version of president. No. Uh, prime Minister is always Prime Minister regardless of bail. It's non non gender. Yeah. Uh, okay. I am I'm the first lady of uh, not first lady, I'm the president. president. I'm the president of vintage. You know what I would wear team it with? Because I love the colour combo. Is this vintage Chanel jersey. Look at that, it's absolutely stunning. Um jersey. Uh, this is equivalent to a nine inch, Ooh. I think. A classic flat bag. It is a reissue team. With yeah. The yeah, it is Ooh. absolutely gorgeous. It's really beautiful vintage. It comes with a box, guys. It comes with a box. And how do I wear it? Uh, Presidentness. <laughs> is there such a word? What? So, so somebody it said, now. yeah, well, we, we've added it to the English dictionary. Presidentness. So this is absolutely gorgeous. This is um, navy jersey. And actually, Chanel personally carried a jersey bag. So jersey was actually used, um, I think, for evening. And the lambskin was for day. So they, the jersey was seen as a more of a special occasion bag. This features the beautiful, look at that, reissue chain. Look at this. The chain itself is like a piece of jewellery. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the gilding. This is um, vintage gilding, 24 karat gold. It is gorgeous. Sam, there's no YSL in tonight's show, but there will be some on the way. So just keep watching our live shows on a Monday. And features a CC turnstile lock. It's a double flat bag. I think jersey are fantastic bags. Um, they're very durable, easy to look after. They're very easy to use and wear. Um, they, you know, not like sometimes with leather, um, you can be, it can be a little bit precious. But this is a very robust bag. Look, pristine inside. And look at that beautiful red lining, that glorious contrasting red lining. It comes with its original dust bag, its Chanel dust bag. And this, guys, is a really, really early model. This is, um, and this is the example of an early serialized bag. So it's a six-digit bag, and you can see how big the serial stickers are. They're, they almost look like plasters. Mm -hmm. uh, they're actually, so this is from 1984 to yeah. 85, Ooh, which is your year, Rachel. I love this bag. Yeah, so this is, if you're born in 1984 or 85, this is your birth year bag. Absolutely gorgeous. Nowhere to the corners. Like I, there's nothing I can fault with this bag, and I think it looks great with what I'm wearing. So I'm going to quickly show you my um, president's outfit. <laughs> I can see all the hearts going. Don't I just look so like I'm like the ladies who lunch. Uh, I'm going off to the tennis club now. I'm going to my charity event. So, so, so chic. Really, really cool. <laughs> Presidentess. <laughs> oh, Presidentess. Oh, I like that. Yes. It's like the Countess meets President. So I'm the Presidentess. I love it. I love it. Look, isn't, isn't she a beauty? That is just absolutely gorgeous. Ah, very Upper East Side. I suppose that's a good thing, right? Look. So it comes with the ba um, dust bag. It comes with the, let me just quickly show you. Oops. Comes with the dust bag. Comes with... A serial sticker which is from 1984 to 85 and it comes with a box so the price of this please Rachel and it's also in excellent condition I give it a good 9 out of 10 it's all right 
I know, Josie Marie, she's are so, so wearable, I agree. It is £3,800, which is US dollars if you want to check out. Uh, remember to apply the vintage code 50, vintage 50, for £50 off your order. So you can save £50, which is equivalent to $50 now, isn't it? One to one, or $60. Oh. <laughs> Almost, yes. So you can check out just there. Now, let me do some Celine, actually. Let's do some Celine. We have this really cool Celine bowling bag in a macadam design. Um, really cute, functional bag, top handle, with a coated canvas, with the leather trim. Just a really, really cute little fun, just such a nice bag. You could actually, looking at the D-rings on, uh, on the strap, you can actually add a shoulder strap. Ooh, well, about one about the strap. Yeah, is there one? Yeah. Where would they be? They're just behind Catalina on the bottom right hand shelf. So um, we could include a strap for you if there is a colour suitable with this one. And it is so, so cute. Um, it does have some patina or watermarks along the bottom of the bag. Has these nice gold tone studded feet. The handles have show some light patina as well. Love the little macadam um, Art for Triumph design just there. And especially Celine Vintage, especially the Macadam, it's so, so um, popular right now because um, Celine, the House of Celine have recently reprised this print again. So, is there any tarnish on the watch? Uh, Maddie, no. Uh, let me just quickly show you. The, Maddie, uh, the price of the watch is just there. It's £1,495. Let me just show you. Can't really... Maybe just, let me just do quickly do this. Maybe just a little bit just here, but really, you can't really tell. No scratches to the glass, in perfect, good work, working order. Thank you. You got no, no straps? No, okay. And there you go. So the only sort of where I would say, can you just see just there where my finger is pointing? That is it. So, so yes, uh, you could apply, we will provide you with, if you want to purchase it, we could provide you with a complimentary shoulder strap. It's actually a guitar strap with a little lobster clasp. So you can wear this as a crossbody or off the shoulder bag. Uh, inside, um, it's a zipper opening bag. Uh, some light tarnish to the zipper pull, which says Celine. Uh, no turn locks. I do have some studs, so I'll show you the studs next. Um, Ali, you stay on. Uh, generally good clean condition inside. Just one little pen lock inside there. And has an interior pocket as well. So the bowling bag, the vintage bowling bag. Rachel, if you can let us know the price. Fabulous. That Any odor? No, no noticeable odor really. Sticky inside, it's not sticky at all. Yeah. Any, yes. You're right, Ruri, the current Chanel Premier watches are 4,800 now, if you were to, if you could get a hold of a, a watch in store. And the picture is up, and the price of this bag is 550 pounds, which is 622 US dollars. If you use the code VINTAGE50, you can get 50 pounds off your order. All you need to do is uh, use the code VINTAGE50, and you can check out and the uh, bag is just there so somebody's requested to see some studs so let me quickly show you some studs uh, we have the first pair of studs this is actually really sweet comes with a little box and these are little tiny they're actually half uh probably about two centimeters wide um chanel it says almost like little tiny buttons so it says chanel with the uh paris um here 
and it has a little faux gas pearl just in the center there. Clip-on star earrings, and these are from 94 Spring Collection. I'll just put them on me now. So these are actually really delicate, very comfortable, even though they're clip-ons, with the comfort strap as well, a comfort pad as well. And they're just great for everyday wear. So, and they come with the original box. So that's what it looks. So if you uh, want to wear these every day, I think these are perfect because they're not so in your face. Let me just quickly do the flip the screen. You can see lovely condition, no pearl enamel pe peeling. And it says Chanel and Paris, 94 spring collection. How cute are they? Very, very cute. And they come with a box and the price of these fantastic earrings. I might keep them on, they're very, very comfortable on. Are only 450 pounds, which is 509 US dollars. If you want to shop this, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon just there. So another pair of studs I have, my last pair of studs in tonight's show, it is uh, these square ones. These are really fun square earrings. These are square stud earrings. Aren't they sweet? It's nice to see uh, a square version rather than the round versions that we normally see. They almost look like cufflinks. Again, gilded in 24 karat gold with a black enamel, has a little clip on backing. And it is signed and I can't see the number is, I think they're nineties or maybe they're later, maybe 01. Is it 03? 03, 2003. Yeah, I knew they were a much later model. Oh, they're so cute. They're really comfortable on. It's nice to see a little square pair like that. Let me just quickly do a flip. So you can see, there you go. Lovely condition, just slight signs of use. The enamel has no chipping, there's no loss of shine and, and has a clip-on backing at the back as well. And they're roughly half a centimetre wide. So very, very comfortable. Uh, these only come with a complimentary Luxury Promise dust bag. And yes, it is gilded in 24, uh, probably more actually for 2003. Maybe it could be 24, it could be 18 by then, Sharina. So the price of these areas, I might keep them on, are only £495, which is 560 US dollars. If you want to shop them, all you need to do is just tap on that icon just there. Uh, let me show some more fun and unusual things. Um, we have some Hermes, let's do some Hermes. So we have this uh, boxed item. This is an Hermes pre-love click clack. I know you guys love a click clack. Comes with a box, comes with the Hermes pouch, and it is a really lovely orange enamel click clack in the palladium hardware. Uh, this is a size, does it say? It's six centimeters. It might be a small the then. PM. Yeah, yeah. It might be the PM size. So let me just see if I can open this up. I can put it on. Let me just quick show you the condition. Uh, enamel, there's all, lost, no loss of enamel. The color is nice and clean, uh, even. There's no chipping, no loss of shine. Just light surface wear to the um, silver hardware. And let me put that on. Uh, it measures six centimeters across, which is just under three inches, and it fits me fine. So really, oh, it's really, really cute. I like the orange and silver combination. So really, really lovely piece. I would give this a good eight out of 10 for condition. Now, if you were to buy a click that right now, if you can get a hold of them, uh, I think they retail at 500, so I have 520 or 570 pounds. So, but our pre-loved version is, oh, thank you, you sir. Oh, thank you very much. I know I miss Elena. Normally Elena's on the show, but she's poorly tonight. So I hope if she was watching, uh, we're wishing you speedy recovery. 
Uh, this is only £395, which is £446 uh, US dollars. If you want to shop this, all you need to do is just tap on that above icon just there. So remember, these retail around about £520, £570, so, but you can buy this for £395. Makes a great Christmas present. So if you've already started thinking about Christmas. Uh, we have a scarf. So I know you guys love vintage scarves. We have this beautiful uh, number here. This is a Hermes scarf. And what's nice about this one, this is actually the pleated scarf. It's a pleated design. Uh, measures 90 by 90. And it has this gorgeous uh, design throughout. Almost has a nautical uh, design throughout. In gold and reds and yellows. You can see just there with the uh, uh, nautical theme design. It has a little boat at the bottom. And it says, what does it say? The design is Bateau à Vapeur de Joffrey Babans, Dabans, 1784. And it's Fyle which is, a, he was one of the prolific scarf designers at Hermes. I do love the crinkle, like the pleated design of this, I think. This will top off my uh, presidentess uh, look. I am the first lady of vintage, of presidents. So really, how amazing does this look? Really, really beautiful design. Excellent condition, comes with the box. It is a vintage piece. Even showcases the hand rolled design just there. All hand rolled. Uh, finished with the blind stitching. So true, like good quality, high-end designer scarves are often hand finished. And we call it blind stitching because you can't actually see the visible threads. It's all hidden away. It's all rolled and discreetly hidden away. So the price of this lovely scarf, it's like a piece of art itself. with this gorgeous pleating throughout, comes with a box. <laughs> you vote, you vote for me, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Gorgeous design, just there. How do they, see? oh, it is incredible. I remember going to, oh, it still has its uh, tag as well. Um, this was many years ago when Hermes was um, doing their, uh, they, uh, I don't know if you saw the atelier where they traveled all around the world and they showcased some of their craftsmen. And it was on at, in London's, um, uh, near the Sloan Square. I can't remember the, the exhibition hall now. But um, he, the guy was explaining, it's actually done by two sisters who are in their, at the time, they were in their 80s or 90s. They started when they were 18. And they uh, would, could do up to 100 scarves each. They had done it so long. One single piece of thread, one hand rolling, the other hand stitching, and it never breaks. One, a true person, you, you can't break. If it breaks halfway, the thread, you've got to start again because can you imagine so they could do it very quickly in one swell swoop swoop in one way so it's amazing it is wow <laughs> so i'm still waiting for the watch ah so oh the scarf is up and it is 299 pounds which is 338 us dollars if you want to shop it all you need to do is just tap on that above icon just there and it comes with a box as well, so great as a gift, Christmas gift, this, uh, um, this up close Christmas. I want to show this. This is a really, really fun, fun item. Now, this uh, item was actually made for a VIP customer, a custom made. And any dog lovers out there, because this might be the perfect item for your bougie dog. Because it is a custom made croc dog collar i know isn't this incredible this is a custom really made uh, yeah <laughs> i wonder if you can wear it this is not doggies yes i wonder if we could wear it as a fashion accessory 
Okay. I'm going to try it. 100%. This is very, very rock and roll if you could wear it. Oh my God. Very punk if you I could. I'm so jealous. <gasps> you really? could! I won't ah! look out. How yes. chic! That is pretty cool, right? Yes. Yes. That oh my is, gosh, yes. Yeah, you know, chokers are all the rage. So this is comes with a box. It's in excellent condition. Look, it's croc. Croc, uh, is it croc or alligator? Uh, what does it say in the... Oh, and it, yes, it's a horseshoe. It's got a little horseshoe. Ooh. So it was a custom-made... Special made, order, then. Special order, custom-made piece. Croc. It is croc, yes, I thought so, croc. With all that Clou de Sal detail um, you see on there. And it has a little loop because... What could you put through the loop? You need... The dog collar. I know, right? How bougie is this? This is so fun. This is the dog collar. Dog. <gasps> I know. So who has? This is the gift for somebody who has everything. Look. I'm sorry. This <gasps> it even insane. has. Oh, my God. Oh, you know what? This is interlude. You know, there's two ways. You can actually wear this style of collar with a Kelly lock, or oh, that Kelly lock is like holding. Oh, I see. I love it. Or it could be for the dog itself, so you can interchange the two. So you could put that Kelly lock around the dog. This is too fancy for dogs. This is I know. Amazing. Oh, gorgeous. Again, it is the same uh, matching croc. This is, I think it's porosis. Croc porosis? I think that's the symbol. And again, oh, look. Uh, with a... a triangle. Yeah. Is it porosis? I'll have a look. No, maybe it's the other one. Um, Let me have a look. Would you quickly rectify? Um, look, I, I can never remember. It's a symbol, guys. Do you guys know the uh, correct CITES term, the animal CITES term? for that so it has the horseshoe this is the this is an example of what a horseshoe like so when it comes to the symbols uh chanel has lots of uh, not chanel hermes has lots of symbols yeah. one is it, it, is it is the little oh i was right it right. is good job i've been doing this for a long time yeah. hopefully some information has so so first of all this little design uh, this little symbol here that means it's croc porosis Crop porosis, I think, is, um, I think it's like Austria, Australian Thai, sort of like Australasia um, crocodile. And the other one, alligator, is more Floridian. I think it was just two little dots. That's the difference between the two animals. Now, this is a horseshoe. So horseshoe uh, stamped models are really, um, they are special order. So uh, to be, uh, to to request or ask Hermes to make something for you, um, you have to be a high spending VVVIP customer to have something. So this is one of a kind piece that, some, that Hermes has made. Uh, another symbol, which I've never come across, I would love to come across one day in my career, is the shooting star. Does anyone know what a shooting star symbol is? Um, the shooting star symbol only appears on pieces that are made specifically for friends of Hermes family or only for the Hermes family. And they are very, very rarely do not come on the market. So, yes. So, um, it's, uh, or an employee, that's right. So, <laughs> so, and this would have been purchased from the horizon part of Hermes when customers would come to get cars and carriages fitted. Wow. So, so they are, um, they are um, sold separately. So first of all, we'll come up with a collar, the price of a collar. So the price of a collar coming up. I'm loading them both. I think this is a vintage piece. So it might be pre cites So um, we probably could be able to um, <coughs> ship abroad from looking at this. It looks quite um, vintage. So the collar, the price... Coming up for the actual collar. I've got yeah. Okay, brilliant. Okay. 
So the collar is £665. It is an absolute steal for croc porosis. Custom made horseshoe symbol comes with the box. That is the collar just in the middle. And for the lead, for the dog lead, which comes with its box and dust bag, really, really great gift for someone. It's also uh, £665. So um, that second icon is there. Condition, I would say it's a good 9 out of 10. It's, it looks like it's hardly being used. In good, clean condition. No loss of shine, no tarnish. And together, the whole set would be roughly just over £1,200, which is, I think, an absolute steal when it comes to a custom Horizon piece, like Sabrina was saying. So um, it is just there. So if you want to shop that, you can. So love, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it'll have to be like a really well-behaved dog um, to, to warrant this. <laughs> or human. <laughs> I'm going to tell my friend to buy it. Oh, really? Does she have a dog? She loves... Ah. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, Chanel chain wallets. We don't actually. But I have something really, really lovely. I want to quickly feature. We have a couple more pieces left. If it had sizes for the US, I'd grab the leash and... Ah, oh, to my son's pack pack. That is what you call bougie, I think, Michelle. <laughs> so, um, comes with a dust bag. And this is a vintage Gucci mini door bag. Um, isn't this absolutely fun and adorable? Uh, it features a gold chain. Has that gorgeous bamboo detail as the clasp. Uh, bronze coloured um, uh, leather, metallic leather, finished with gold tone hardware. If you've got any upcoming um, Christmas parties coming up, this would be a really, really lovely piece. Has a little chain strap. It's actually detachable. Can you see the lobster clasp? So you can um, detach the straps if you wish. Oh, the little round Chanel earrings have gone. Oh, have they? Congrats! That means that's a fantastic price, isn't it? So, congratulations, the earrings have sold. So, um, to open, you push down, and inside, oops, isn't this a really fun piece? Has a nice, clean interior. Such a fun little bag. Um, in terms of what you can fit, you can't probably fit a phone in here, because it is quite narrow, the um, width. Of the bag the work with the bag is roughly five inches across so you can definitely put a card holder lipstick airpods whatever you need on your evening out just love the little bamboo clasp just as such a fun fun piece and you can actually tuck in the strap so imagine if you were to remove the strap this will be the perfect little miniature if you're going out for Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas parties or any upcoming festivities or New Year's parties. Um, it's such a beautiful bag. In terms of wear, you can see that it has some imprintation from wear, where items are sat across. But um, the hardware is excellent. No loss of shine. Um, includes a dust bag, push lock opening. Excellent condition inside. So a really, really nice and fun piece. And let me just quickly show you uh, what it like and, um, to size the width and size of the uh, bag. Really, really cute. And if you want to swap out for a longer chain, you can because it has these little clasps just there. So if you have a longer chain, you can add that to it. Ooh, the dog lead has sold. Oh, the dog lead has sold. That is amazing. What a lucky dog. I do see one that collar. I would wear it as well. Yeah, it's a cool fashion piece. It will yeah. make a... Who bought the dog collar? That is the lead. Congratulations. Oh, amazing. So, uh, let me just put that aside. So, this, I would say, is probably Y2K era, like Tom Ford era bag. So, within the last 20 years. And in terms of condition, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. So, the uh, price of this bag, please. Is 
only 550 pounds which is 622 us dollars if you want to use the code vintage 50 you can save 50 pounds use the code which is pinned and um you can check out alicia she bought it excited for walks Aww, oh you'll be the talk i'm sure every dog walker will be going what kind of dog lead is that and then there'll be a whole story how it's by hermes and it is a custom made piece so congratulations can you show the engraved uh cc earrings again yes yeah, sure tez no problem was it this pair i think it was this pair you mean this one Uh, let me just show, let me flip the screen. Excellent condition. Kristen, do you think I should get this set? It's a Chanel suit. Don't know if you've seen it on the stories. Uh, lovely condition. There's no loss of shine or tarnish. Um, it is signed uh, Chanel 94A collection with the uh, comfort pads included as well. Only £550. Yeah. And that's what it looks like on me. Let me just quickly... Grab that. And that's what it looks like. And it feels very comfortable. It's roughly around about an inch wide. And these are, I think these are 550 Tez. So if you want to use the code VINTAGE50, you can save yourself 50 pounds and you can use, yes, you can, Tez. Uh, you can only use one or the other. We can't use two subsequent vouchers. It's just the way our system works. So whatever gives you the greater discount, I would advise you to use that voucher first, Tez. And then you can check out on that. Uh, right, let's do some Gucci. This is a really fun piece. Gucci Golden Tan Backpack in the PM size. Oh, this is a GM size, sorry. Uh, lovely condition, love that heated bamboo design here. I love the way that the bamboo design is continued onto these external pockets just here. And these are fully functioning little pockets. Great for putting in your phone in there or your wallet or keys or anything else. Uh, could you show me the Chanel earrings that sold i bought them but i didn't see the size sure bet the um so <coughs> excuse me the um measurements were on the description if you wanted to check out and this is what it looks like on me they're just under about two centimeters by two centimeters hope that helps So this is uh, generally in good condition. The uh, calf leather is nice and smooth. Lovely condition along the back and front. Uh, nowhere to the bottom. Just minor signs of wear along the corners of the bag. <coughs> <coughs> May I see the length of my Celine blazer once more? Didn't quite see where it hit. Sure, no problem. I'll do that afterwards, uh, uh, Brenna. And um, it has these adjustable shoulder straps. And there is some hairline surface wear along the shoulder straps, just there, there. They're the most, two most noticeable straps. <coughs> and let me just unbuckle this. There's a drawstring closure. And it is nice and clean inside and it comes with a little um, internal pockets as well I'll just show you what it looks like on me to scale uh, could you put a laptop in there probably not probably a bit too small to put a laptop in but you can definitely put a um, tablet or your phone your wallet your keys anything your favorite reading book great for travel so definitely, and could you wear it a sling bag? 
probably, let me just go like this. So yeah, you can wear it as a sling bag. So if you're worried about security, you can have the bag uh, to the front of yourself as well. Oh. So. <coughs> there you go. And the price of this Gucci bag80 pounds which is 543 us dollars if you want to shop that bag all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon there and remember all your customs and duties are covered during this live show yeah it's a fantastic price gem especially bamboo range has come back um, especially uh, gucci have recently reprised that design again so uh, but you get to buy the first generation, the vintage generation, just there. So, uh, Brenna, you want to see the length. It is approximately 27 inches long. And on me, uh, I'm, about f oh, I'm about five foot three. Oops, nearly just did that. I'm about five foot three. And... On me, it is <clears throat> it is uh, on my hip. I hope that helps, uh, Brenna. May I see the buttons, please? Uh, any more Chanel jackets? If you head over to our website, Erin, um, and put in Chanel jackets there, we still have lots in stock. And your one. Yeah. So there you go, there are the buttons. There you go. <clears throat> right. um, let me do a classic. I need to tell you a story about this classic bag, actually. This is a lovely little story, and it's such a fantastic price. Oh. This is a really, really early example of a Chanel classic bag with the reissue chain that could have been around since uh, during Chanel time before she passed on in the 70s. This was actually bought in by a client who remembered when her mother bought this because she was probably only a few years old, like maybe eight or 10 or something like that. And they traveled to Paris and she watched her mom purchase this in store in Paris. Uh, she herself now is a 70 year old, oh, 80 plus, close to 80 year old woman. She's a grandmother herself. So this was, uh, and because she only has sons and, uh, and only grandsons, um, she's decided to sell the bag. And I don't know if you remember my story about, this is the same lady who was cashing in all her Chanel bags because she wanted to use the money oh. to buy her first Birkin after all these years. So this was one of her treasured pieces. Um, it's been lovingly restored. We've actually uh, restored this back to as near as possible how it was back in the 70s. We've also had the gilding regilded as well. This took several months to uh, restore. So I would say this is close to uh, at least 50 years old. And you can see how things have moved on, how things have changed. Um, we, I mean, I had a client the other day, she was comparing a bag she bought in 2016 to a bag from a 1989 bag. It's two different styles of bags. Remember, leather was different, production of leather is different, the diet they gave to cows were different. So it's like, um, it's like comparing me and my mum, even though we're the same DNA, we will age differently. So this is just a wonderful example of how Chanel craftsmanship really with, with, um, withstand the, the test of time. It's crafted from lambskin leather and it's still got that beautiful buttery sheen. This is a 10 inch medium size. Um, we've restored the hardware, so it's original 24 karat gold gilding. And yes, and the CC, I wondered if anyone would notice that. The CC is different, it's the other way around. And also it's tapered. You see how, because if you look under the back plate, 
the back plate back then there was no screws it's all dovetailed in so everything is slotted in like puzzles so that's how different the hardware is it's in love has it sold already yeah it's gone it's gone guys unsurprising oh my gosh it was only 2200 pounds the lady wanted to pass on this bag at a very good price because she enjoyed it herself for 50 years. So it is amazing. And especially it has such a lovely provenance story as well. And that, the um, fact that she saw her mum buy this in the 70s. Did she get the she did, she did. She, yeah. she managed to get herself a Birkin. She actually bought a pre-owned one. And um, what you got? she got a gold Birkin 35 and she showed me a picture. Yeah. <laughs> she showed me a picture, she WhatsApp me a picture. So it is uh, such a lovely story. See, see, sometimes investment pieces is not more, more about the money. We're only custodians. These pieces are pieces you hand on down to. Uh, and that is your fashion legacy to your family. So uh, whoever purchases, I hope you can pass on the story how she, this lady witnessed her mother buying this in the 70s and hopefully they'll appreciate it and they'll pass it on for the next 50 years. Gosh, by then, will we be doing live shows? Maybe it's all holographic then. Probably. <laughs> I'll be in a space suit. suit. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm so happy um, someone's bought that. Um, right. Let's uh, do this bag. This is a beautiful bag. Oh, yes. This is stunning. This, I, this is my favourite piece. Yes. Uh, how much time have we got? Half an hour. It's good. Like a mix between a... Yes. Diana and a Madame Bovell. Exactly, that's a good cross, a cross, uh, it was 2000, I think it was 2,200 pounds, mm -hmm. Nadine. Uh, so oh, sorry, wow. yes. Tell um, Nadine's secret. Ah, uh, did you, what, 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 sorry? Tell Nadine's secret. The secret, oh place. yes. So if you um, want to shop as quickly as those people, there is a little secret and there is a handbag icon just there. So before it gets pinned here, it's released in the handbag icon. And what people do, if you're watching on a laptop, you have the handbag icon page, the new arrivals page, mm -hmm. keep refreshing it, keep refreshing it. It will appear there before we pin it. There's a whole so, technique to There is a whole, yes, exactly. Uh, I probably need to provide a PDF how you can cheat <laughs> the system. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, even Brenda was saying, it's the new arrivals page, girlfriend. <laughs> so let's do a um, quick unboxing. We have this full set piece, vintage piece, from come from one of our very community here, and she's reselling her bag. I'm not gonna mention her name, uh, but she's reselling her bag. It is full set. Comes with the dust bag, it comes with the card. And like Rachel was saying, it is like a Mademoiselle meets Diana flat bag. It is gorgeous. Yes, January, it is absolutely stunning. Black lambskin leather uh, with a little, um, back pocket has this beauty what i love about this is this leather strap mm -hmm. this gorgeous leather it's like strap a little satchel. It oh is my like, god i'm so obsessed it's like a designer I satchel love the rings on i them. know it's like a designer satchel <laughs> it is so beautiful and look all it's all about the details look at the engraved matalasse design on the cc logos and look at even the rings the d rings the circle rings has the matalasse quilted design throughout it is a beautiful beautiful and look at that lambskin leather yeah. you can see why people love vintage especially a vintage chanel from the 80s and 90s that lambskin leather apparently somebody one of the um dealers that i work with told me that uh, specifically one and two series bags the lambskin the diet was different the the the, the leather was different to compare if you compare that with only a couple of years later. So if you want this buttery sheen shine, look for one and two series bags. It is a single flat bag. <clears throat> and inside it is lovely and clean. It is a two series bag. It comes with its authenticity card as well, guys. So um, has its card here. 
and it is uh, wonderful. The creasing, uh, very little creasing, I'm afraid. Uh, this person's really, really looked after this bag. Um, let me just show you. There is hardly any creasing. Nowhere to the corners. Yeah, so Rue was even says all her bags are from the 2 Series. So she specifically looks for 2 Series bags because she loves that buttery shine. Nowhere to the corners here. Just lovely, lovely. Yes, Rachel loves this bag. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable how leather is so shiny on these vintage yes. bags. And they don't make them like exactly. You know what? There's even now, I think, uh, not only things are just going up increasingly in price, but also leather now is even harder to procure because the, uh, people are not eating meat now. So, yeah, I mean, it's good, good for the environment. Um, so uh, normally leather is a byproduct of food production. So because we're now, we get most, especially in the Western world, we're gearing towards a plant-based diet, leather is actually a very, very expensive commodity. So the price of this bag full set two series comes with dust bag box and card it is four thousand five hundred pounds which is five thousand and ninety one us dollars if you want to shop this remember all your customs and duties are covered during the live show you can use the code vintage 50 for 50 pounds off the icon is just there so uh, Fatima, don't worry, uh, when, uh, on my way home, I'll just take the £50 off your order, so don't worry about that. Uh, I have to make sure, you, it's a, there is a requirement, uh, you have to spend £500 or more to get the £50 off, so I'm not, I'm not too sure what you bought, but we'll double, double check if you are eligible for that. So, there's that bag there. <clears throat> Let's do this bag. Now, love these petite mail bags, even though this is a modern piece, it is inspired by a vintage piece. So this is the uh, petite mail bag and it's based on the, um, the luggage trunks that, which made Louis Vuitton um, very famous. And of course they are luggage makers. makers. The very first luggage, uh, these flat pack uh, luggage was made in 1858. They were revolutionary at the time now. Think of this age, 1850s, uh, what was it, the start of the 19th century, part of the 19th century. Um, it was the golden age of travel. So for that steam travel, um, which pioneered rail travel, which also pioneered um, uh, sailing as well. So it was a very expensive travel mode. So it was, uh, uh, of course, the elite and the upper class were able or were, uh, were privileged to travel. And when you're traveling, you need to bring your stuff together, all your, all your gear together. And of course, you, and often you're packing for um, designer, um, you're packing for ballrooms or events or special occasions on these travels. So you have to make sure all your things are packed correctly as well as all your uh, items are um, securely uh, packed as well. So <clears throat> Louis Vuitton's trunks were revolutionary. It may not seem like, it may not seem like common sense now, but his trunks were flat packed. So the idea is you can stack them above one another. Also his design, he had the monogram design, uh, which made them distinct. So uh, when you're traveling, you can quickly spot your trunks also, they're personalised, so you can quickly spot your trunks. Also, it was designed to, uh, for counterfeit as well. So because everyone was copying his designs, he had to come up with a specific monogram design, hence the, the famous design that we see now. Another thing that was very revolutionary was his uh, spring lock closure, this um, padlock, which was um, so unpickable because it was a five spring, the way it all clicks together, uh, was revolutionary at the time. He said it was so unpickable that he publicly announced in a newspaper to Houdini, Harry Houdini, who was the famous contortionist at the time, <clears throat> to get inside one of his cases and see if he can unpick his way out. But Harry Houdini never actually took up the challenge. So, so this, um, so the petite mal was the um, 
inspiration uh, inspired by this famous trunk made by uh, by Louis Vuitton and the first petite mail was uh, introduced by Nicolas Gis Gisquet in 2014. I love this I think this is what I love about this it it's it combines two things it's art and history in a modern bag and that is something really hard to combine in all three aspects in one bag um, I think these are really, really fun bags. It has a hard case, silver hardware, pin, pin, uh, pin lock closure. So if you push lock closure, if you pop that open, it opens up. Look, amazing. Now, these would have been elasticated in the trunk. So they're crisscross, so you can actually um, slip in paperwork and it keeps everything flat. This is such a fun... Oh, is this yours, Sabrina? Oh, okay. I didn't know it was yours personally. I just think these, I've never seen you use these. I think this is such a, a fun, fun, well, that explains a lot. And I was about to say, at the time, these were over £3,000 retail back in 2014. It comes with a detachable shoulder strap and you can wear it <clears throat> over the shoulder or you can wear it uh, across body or you can wear it over the shoulder. Or you can remove it, remove it from the lobster cast and use this like a mini adieu. Really, really fun piece. You can see, uh, I, in terms of condition, it would be Sabrina, so she would have looked after it well. There's just one little minor scuff mark just there. I'll give this a good eight out of 10. Just minor wear just there. Interior is nice and clean and uh, really, really fun. And like I said, combines all the elements that I love about Louis Vuitton. It is a work of art. It is historical and it is a real fun piece. So when, when this was retailed, this was back in 2014, this was £3,000. Our price <clears throat> is uh, only 1,800, that's a fantastic price, £1,800, which is 2,036 US dollars. Uh, I have seen these on first dibs, other resale marketplaces. They're going for an excess of £2,400. So £1,800, fantastic price. And it comes from the provenance of the private wardrobe of our CEO, mm -hmm. Sabrina Sadiq. So if you want to shop it, all you need to do, is just tap on that icon there. And remember, all your customs and duties are covered during the live show. It's a really, really fun piece. And then another piece I didn't realise was this backpack Aldo bag. I love this. I love this. It's, I think this is Blue Nui. Is it Blue Nui description? I yeah, I love it. And it's a petite size. I just love how cute this size is. This looks like it's Clemence leather with the gold tone hardware. It has adjustable shoulder strap. Oh, I just love this. Look. Isn't it cute? It's just listed as blue. Blue. Okay, I would call it Blue Nuit because I think this is a Blue Nuit colorway. And look, you can wear it as a, as a sling bag. Way more practical than a Kelly bag. And it's in excellent condition. Just looking at all the, the Clemence leather is nice and clean. With very minimal wear, just a tiny, tiny little scuff mark just there but really nice and clean along the bottom. No wear to this side. Hardware is excellent. And the year on this is, is it Disquet on the? Okay. Do you know the year on this, Sabrina? Lovely and clean inside. And and oh, just just really, really cute and adorable size. And the gold tone hardware is in lovely condition as well. Hello, Dammy. Really, really nice. 2016, 2017, so only a couple of years old, within the last 10 years. And this is a small size one. Let me just give you the measurements. <clears throat> it is approximately, nine inches high and eight inches wide nine inches high and eight inches wide so it's a good little petite size 
and I'll just show to scale what it looks like on me. And this comes from the wardrobe of our oh, very own fine lady, Sabrina Sadiq. So it comes from her private wardrobe. And the price in this lovely bag, Rachel? I know this shade is a stunner. It's such a gorgeous colorway. It is 8,500 pounds, which is 9,618 US dollars. Yes, I think it would fit an iPad Pro. How, what are the inches of an iPad Pro? If you, do you know, Dami? Because I can measure it. Or Rachel's gonna quickly do a Google search. Are there several iPad sizes? Uh, she said an iPad Pro, would it fit a iPad? 22. 22, uh, which is roughly 22 centimeters. No, I'm saying 20, 22. Yeah. Um, 11 inches, I think it is. 11 inches, I mean, or? I think, I think they measure it across me. Oh yeah, they do, yeah, yeah, like, 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 the, like the iPad. Uh, like the so yeah it could just about fit so i think ipad pros are around about 11 inches across aren't they so um it could probably just about fit, fit but maybe luna is right maybe you need to it, it depends on what year what generation your ipad pro is maybe it's more of the smaller size would be better fit for this uh beautiful bag so it is up it is eight thousand five hundred pounds if you want to shop it all you need to do is just tap on the icon there. Remember to use the code VINTAGE50 and to get £50 off that order. So anything over £500 in tonight's vintage show, you get use the code VINTAGE50 at checkout and get £50 off your order. Right, uh, let's, do, uh, let's do this trapezoid bag. We have this beautiful uh, vintage trapezoid bag. Again, look at that. We we're talking about shiny lambskin leather. It's lovely, uh, black lambskin leather with a little back pocket. And this is the structured um, trapezoid bag. It's almost a bit like a mini Kelly, you can say, a mini Kelly size. It actually has these studded feet as well. Um, it's designed with a long chain, so you can wear this as a crossbody style bag, or you could wear it as a shoulder bag. Uh, it features a 24 karat gold gilding, interwoven um, design um, uh, chain in lovely, lovely condition. Uh, no beige uh, in tonight's show, but I can show you a beige uh, uh, Celine bag in a moment. It is absolutely so, yeah, it is really, really stunning, this bag. Uh, it is approximately... Uh, it was approximately around about eight inches wide. So it is equivalent to a small bag, a uh, single flat bag with the 24 karat gold gilding. But wait till you see inside what this bag comes mm. with. It comes with a matching pouch. <gasps> I hear you gasp. Yes, often these bags do not have the pouch because the pouch itself is like a three to 500 pound value. And often these are missing. So, Patrick Pell, and it has its own authenticity card. This never ever happens, this style of bag. It's a one series, so it's from 1989 to 91. Pristine inside, look at that CC logo inside. Any uh, Dior saddles? Not in tonight, because this is all about the vintage show tonight. So, um, uh, please watch our future shows in this week. There will be some Dior uh, pieces uh, in the uh, future drops. And, oh, do you? What other colours do you have, Fatima? I've seen a purple one, and I've seen, like, we've got a bi-colour one in navy, or is it navy and red, or yeah. black and red. Very but, cool. Fatima, please let me know. I love, if you could WhatsApp me, <laughs> not WhatsApp, um, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, which is WinnieXMcGee underscore, um, do let me know, because I love to see your collection of the others. Because I like, like, like Elena, we collect pictures, so it's just good for <laughs> referencing. So yes, yes, exactly. So this, the, uh, yes, so the, the black and red one was slightly bigger. So it came in two sizes. That was a 10 inch, I think 10 or nine inch. This is an eight inch, this is smaller. So it comes with, um, it's a little matching card holder. Uh, so it's ideal for putting a little card in there or iPod, your AirPods um, or anything like your business cards and look, 
the Matalassa design continues throughout as well. Everyone's saying, bless you. <laughs> I hope we're not coming down with something. <laughs> and look, guys, it fits. It's designed to fit securely in there. Isn't that adorable? I would rate this a good 8 out of 10. It is a vintage piece. It is from 1989 to 1991 with some hairline surface wear. They are beauty marks, they are aging marks, and we earn them all. That makes us special and makes us um, even more special and one of a kind. So, the price of this bag, please. It is £3,500. It includes its matching pouch, includes a card, serial sticker. It's a one series from 1989 to 1991. It's £3,500, which is $3,960. US If you want to shop this, all you need to do is just tap on that icon just there. Remember to use your code VINTAGE50 at checkout and get £50 off your order. It is applicable on orders minimum £500 spent during this live show only. Uh, oh, yes, everyone's fascinated by uh, uh, Fatima's uh, collection. We would love to see what she has. Uh, she said she has this bag in lots of different colours. But she has purple suede, hunter green, black, nude, and chocolate brown. And she wants light pink. <laughs> Sorry, uh, my jaw just dropped. I didn't know they came in that many colours. Oh my gosh. I am so jealous, but also very intrigued. That is amazing. How long did it take you to find all those bags? And did you buy them or were they inherited? Or love, I love, sometimes I just love to hear how um, people's vintage journey began. So that sounds amazing. So Fatima, you sound like a true collector. So another collector piece is this Paris limited edition bag. Um, this is the Paris ed edition bag where, why we call it Paris, this specific model has, um, is the only model in the classic range that has a silver and gold hardware, an intertwined silver and gold hardware with a tone, to, uh, turnstile lock. It is lambskin leather with a quilted matelasse design. Uh, generally, it is good clean condition with just light corner wear. Uh, there is tarnish to the gold tone hardware um, that you can see, but the, uh, the actual leather is in good condition. This is equivalent to a 10 inch medium size. Is it 10 inch? It looks quite large. Let me have a quick look. 10 inch medium size. Yeah, 10 inch medium size with a turnstile lock. Still, uh, it is double flap. And inside, it is nice and clean with a contrasting um lining inside and this doesn't have a serial sticker but looking at the age it's definitely a 1980s model so in terms of how you can wear it the style of the chain um were are particularly shorter on these styles so it would be ideal to wear as a shoulder bag or you can wear it over the shoulder doubled up or you can mm, now, I wouldn't suggest wearing it as a crossbody bag. It's probably too much, too much of a high cross. So the price of this vintage piece? <laughs> it is £2,800, which is US dollars And if you want to shop this, all you need to do is just tap on that icon just there. Oh, yes, sir, they're very kind of you to say that. Um, you could say I have in my the only way you learn how what we do is by handling the bags and seeing lots of different varieties um there's nothing you a book can tell you uh it's only just from the physical objects and i must in my career must have handled thousands ten thousand bags in the last 10 years so that's how you learn what we do so and also passion as well i love i love um I love looking at handbags. I love looking at how things are made. Um, so that really ignites my passion when it comes to vintage pieces. So let's uh, finish up. Oh, somebody wants to see this bag. I'll make this my last bag for the evening. It is a macadam design bag. Uh, again, really lovely condition. This is the alternative colorway. So the macadam design came in two colorways. 
you've got this beige and uh, beige undertone and you've got this brown undertone so they're the two versions um, of the vintage macadam design this is the beige version i really love the way how it contrasts with the golden tan color it has two upright shoulder straps and it features a little magnetic closure just there and inside it's lovely and clean. It has two separate, actually, two separate compartments with an internal zip pocket as well. So you could put or anything of, um, if you want something of security or, or value, you can just close, um, you can put it inside. Uh, it has a little internal pocket just there. In terms of wear and tear, I mean, it's in lovely condition. There's hardly anywhere to the corners of the bag. And the binding just has uh, this nice even patina. Uh, and there's no scuffing towards the corners of the bag. Hardware is excellent. It has the gold tone hardware. And it has these fun upright shoulder strap, which is ideal for wearing the bag over the shoulder like this. In good, clean condition. I would rate this a good uh, 8 out of 10. So as a bag, how much is this lovely piece, Rachel? It is uh, three, £495 which is 560 US dollars. If you want to shop this bag, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon just there. And remember, all your customs and duties are covered uh, during the live show. And it's just a really lovely, uh, very comfortable over the shoulder bag. So if you're after a little day bag, everyday bag, this is the bag for you. Especially now that Celine have reprised this print again, uh, making, that, you know, similar model will be three times the price, but the vintage piece is just less than £500. So, I'm nearing towards the end of the show. If there's anything you want to see, do let me know. Hi, uh, the wear. Okay, sure. Uh, Lillian, there's actually no wear. I can't fault anywhere. Don't know if you can see. There is just no wear. It is... The, the good thing about jersey, it is really robust fabric. You can't scratch it, you can't dent it, because it's fabric, it's woven. Look, there's nowhere to the corners, there's no moth damage, considering this is a 1984 to 85 piece. It's excellent. Uh, yes, yeah, sure, I could show. Please do let me know any um, if you want to see anything. I will quickly show you. Excellent hardware. Navy perfect Isn't it? It's such, I think navy. I do. We do get a lot of requests for navies and navy colour is not something we come across. And excellent condition throughout. And look at that beautiful contrasting red grow grain lining. So vintage 80s bags was originally, uh, especially for Jersey, has this fabric. It's like a silk fabric, grow grain. And it is, does it cross body, you mean? I think that's what it yeah. means. <laughs> Not really. It's too short to wear cross body. It's more of a shoulder bag. And the bag comes with its box. No card, but it comes with a hologram sticker, dust bag, and box. That is, I think, two, uh, 3,800. I will double check. Yes. Yeah. Does it have the CP turn lock and the reissue because it's jersey? Is that like um, a pink um, It just happens to be this one. It just happens. Oh. Like, yeah, the, the uh, older model, the vintage models, sometimes you would have a reissue chain with a CC turn lock. It's only much later, I think from 2000 and um, maybe 2005 onwards where they oh. would put, yeah, especially on the, yeah, it, it was, because of the fish. Leather, leather and twine it because it's not made of leather. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that. exactly. And also on the 50th anniversary in 2005, they did reprise this with the, uh, with the original two, uh, uh, rectangular, rectangular lock. Yeah. And those ones, those 2005 models, the strap is actually designed to be worn crossbody. Okay. So prior to that, they weren't designed to be worn to be crossbody because it wasn't the thing in 1984 to wear crossbody bags. Um, it was more like ladies who lunch who would wear it over the shoulder. So yeah. So uh, Rachel. Oh, Jen says her 
Okay, the watch. Yes, so, sure. So, somebody wanted to see the watch and the backpack as well. So, yes. let me quickly show the watch. Any tarnish on the watch. Uh, you can see... All the gold gilding is there. Oh, so upside down, sorry. Very good condition. 18, uh, eight, not 18, 24 karat gold gilding. And remember, you can use the code uh, VINTAGE50 of uh, this watch. It keeps good timing. It has been serviced. And the only, like, tarnish I can see is just on that link just there. Can you see there's a little light tarnish just there but the main watch is lovely and clean so that was uh so there you go there's something want to see the bamboo when you might see the celine brown again yes of course so this is the gucci backpack uh Generally, I'll give it a good sort of 7 out of 10. Generally, good, clean condition. Uh, nice and smooth, clean uh, leather. Just some light scuffing to the corners of uh, the arm. Uh, of the arm, oh, sorry, of the corners of the bag. Uh, hardware is excellent. There is some scuff marks to the back. Just want to quickly show you. Here you see there's some scuff mark just there. And there was a scuff mark here as well and that's the backpack and you can wear that like this and that is I think 480 480 pounds and then somebody wants to see the brown bowling bag on the crook of my arm Tess is just asking quickly she won a 100 pound voucher earlier from the Dubai show but didn't get the email can she purchase something then have the 100 taken off uh, yes, I, <laughs> it's yeah. a bit complicated, yeah. Tess, um, what what do you want to purchase? And um, was there a minimum? I, I didn't know about this. I don't know about the Yeah, yeah. probably best to email me because I need to double check cost reference yeah. what, if you did officially win that. Uh, Tess, uh, if you email winnie at luxurypromise.com. Joanna, if you're watching this in Dubai, can you just uh, double confirm that, that Tess uh, is owed £100 off? That'd be great. Um, remember, uh, with our system, you can only use one voucher at a time. You can't use two consecutive vouchers. Um, it's just the way our system works. So I will suggest you to use a voucher that gives you the most off and then save the other voucher for another time. Uh, is there any cracking to the leather? No, not at all. No cracking to the leather. Uh, nice and clean along the bottom. Uh, there is some light watermarks along the bottom just there. So. Uh, yeah, Sabrina oh, Sabrina. Oh, thank, thank you. Tess, uh, Sabrina will action that for you in a few moments. And the zipper is smooth. Yes, let me just quickly do a demo. You can see that closes securely. So Jen, if you want to, you can quickly uh, check out at vintage, with the Vintage 50 code. You can save yourself £50 on this order. So it's just there. No cracking to the handles. Just there. No problem, Jen. And shall I show one last piece of... Oh! Guys, somebody has to buy this necklace. Why has this not sold? This is, let me just put this uh, uh, again on. Chanel double strand faux pearl glass necklace from 2016 collection with a champagne gold with that beautiful CC, which is just draped on the side. Loves the class. It is laser 2016, signed Chanel beautiful piece and I believe this was only £995. It's available to shop. Remember, use the code VINTAGE50 uh, to get uh, £50 off this piece. Uh, I know, right? You really elevate. Let me, I need to put my president's uh, outfit again. 
Let me finish up on being lady vintage. Oh, I'll make, look, look how classy I look. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we also need to get off because Grace is on. Oh, Grace is on. Okay, all right. So please do stay on because Grace is on next in New York with more vintage goodies. Thank you so much for having me in your evening in your little square box tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, can this gap? Um, okay, so I think the vintage Chanel sold. Did it? The, um, yeah, the navy. Yes. Yeah. We'll see you again soon. And, um, <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm better than Netflix. Oh, that's good. Um, bye, everyone. See bye. you again soon. Thank you, Yasu. Bye, Tess. Bye-bye. Uh, what was that somebody saying? That was a beautiful bag. Oh, thanks.